happened. This is what college has done to me. Thursday night dance parties on Halloween by yourself. That's how you do college right. Good morning, Amanda. It's Friday. Except right now, here it is Thursday. So happy Halloween. So today, this is the outfit that I wore and apparently I was told I'm dressed like a Winchester. So I guess that's what I'm being for Halloween. And I'm completely okay with that. I, it's kind of sad that this actually happened and I didn't mean for it to. So first of all, I want to address what you said in your video. And I think that you summed up our frustration with the execs on the Supernatural board pretty perfectly. You covered all the bases with the queer baiting and with the continuation of the comments that the execs were making over Twitter. And I personally am very frustrated by the whole situation, but I really appreciate that some of the actors are stepping out and saying something like Misha, for example, but it shouldn't be their problem to handle. It should be the exact. I think they need to take responsibility for their actions and make some sort of apologetic statement because that wasn't cool. I mean, they didn't realize that Desiel was such a big thing, I guess, but how could they not at the same time? also wanted to bring up in this video, John Green's video from this week. If any of you watch Vlogbrothers, you probably have seen his video, it's entitled Perspective. And if you don't watch Vlogbrothers, first of all, you need to watch it because Hank and John are fantastic. And they're who our blog is based off of. This week, he talked a lot about how you don't realize that an instant, a moment, can mean a lot to future you. This video actually came at a perfect time for me. I was having a pretty tough time earlier this week. I realized I am very stressed about my future, and I don't know what exactly my future holds for me, and that kind of scared me. And John's words this week really reassured me that this happened for a reason, and that in the meantime, I just need to do whatever it is that is going to make me happiest. And so I am making a promise to myself that that is what I'm going to be doing from now on. I am going to try to do whatever it takes to make myself the happiest I can be. Part of that will have to include me learning how to do more things for myself without feeling selfish. But that is something I'm willing to learn to do. I want you guys to make this promise with me right now. We can do Girl Scouts honor. If you're a boy, do this. Two for Boy Scouts? Repeat after me, I'm serious. I'm looking at you. I promise to do whatever is going to make me happiest, and I am going to live life the fullest because it is such a brief but beautiful thing, and we need to do whatever we can in order to enjoy every moment we have. I need to change my perspective. So Amanda, I hope you enjoyed your Halloween. Whatever you ended up doing, I hope it was wonderful. I hope you have a lovely weekend and life. And Amanda, I will see you on Tuesday. Like the girl from the Jungle Book. That's what would happen to me if I lived in India and had to carry jugs of water on my head. Show looks strange to me.